I said hydrating, right? Didn't I? Hydrating. Hydrating. Hi and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name's Amanda and welcome to the channel. Um, today we're going to do a 12-day advent calendar. And this is called a Freeman's 12 Days of Glow and this is all face masks. So you open this one up like a card, I guess, and we have 1 to 12 inside. It goes from beautiful sort of oranges through to blues on this side, and we've got all different sorts of face masks. Um, so let's go through them, starting with day one. So we start with day one, and we have a revitalizing face mask. Our first one <laughs> out of day one is a revitalizing pomegranate peel-off gel mask. So um, this advent cal calendar is actually for daughter behind the camera. She has an absolute love of peel-off masks. So I saw this and there is a lot of peel-off masks here and I know that she's secretly counting them behind the camera. But that is day one. So we have a peel-off mask. Now, though this is 1 to 12, um, even doing this every second day I think would be too much. So this is something that I think that between now and Christmas being the very end of October un until Christmas is probably a good time to start a calendar like this. So then by the time Christmas comes, your skin is absolutely glowing, but you haven't dried it out with too many treatments. Now the second day actually says something different to what it says on there. So on here it says it's a rose gummy bear melting sugar mask, but actually inside we have a clearing sweet tea and lemon peel off clay mask, which is the next one. So I think they've actually swapped these two around, but there we go. So this again is a peel off mask, but it's a clay mask. So um, that's going to be interesting to see how it can be peel off and clay at the same time. So that is day number two. So I've headed into door number three and we actually have the right one in there as well. So we actually got the same mask, as you can see I've put it back quite nicely, we actually got the same mask in both of these. So we have a fail at door number two. So um, I hope that their quality control is better than this and I hope that what we actually paid for is actually going to be what's in here. But again, we have the clearing sweet tea and lemon peel off clay mask in door number three. So this time I think it's right though, it's kind of different to what the other ones look like inside, but this is a Freeman's mask again, obviously they're all Freeman's. Um, this is a Blue Lotus Neon Clay Mask, so this is an oil absorbing absorbing mask. Um, so this is just a clay mask, but yes, it looks very different to what the picture is and the others sort of look like a different product. So again, this is something nice, but um, this is something that you wouldn't use too often, though it says it's oil absorbing. Um, it means that it will dry out your skin if you don't have oily skin. So let's try door number five. And next we have a water gel mask. This is a hydrating cactus and cloudberry. I said hydrating, right? Didn't I? Hydrating. Hydrating. Yep, yep, that's the right word. Um, a hydrating cactus and cloudberry mask. So uh, this one is good for instantly hydrates for a smooth, radiant complexion. So that is in door number five. And in door number six, we have a Freeman, oh, I keep saying a Freeman's, it's a Freeman's advent calendar, a polishing charcoal and black sugar gel mask and scrub. So this you can obviously leave on your skin or you can um, take or just use it as a cleanser as well. Um, the activated charcoal helps absorb oil and impurities without over drying. So that is in door number six. If nothing else, it is a workout getting these out of this calendar. So, you know, if, if you've had too many lollies, try and get one of these out of this calendar. <laughs> and now we head on to the other side and again we have a face mask. Funnily enough, it's a Freeman's face mask because I keep repeating those words. This is a deep clearing Manuka honey and tea tree oil. It's a clay mask and cleanser. So again, this is one that you can leave on for a while or you can put on and use as a cleanser. So um, again, it um, delivers potent healing properties to nourish skin. So the tea tree oil helps to purify pores and control oil. So that is in door number seven. And next we head into door number eight. As I said, these are a workout to get out. I'm already sweating just and I'm up to door number eight. So this is a brightening Greek tree, green tea and orange blossom peel off gel mask. So again, our daughter behind the camera has just sort of piqued her interest again because she absolutely loves peel off masks. And then I'm usually the one who has to go and get the bits off from around her hair and drives her mad because I just sort of come at her. Um, but she absolutely loves peel, um, peel off masks and this one, green tree and orange blossom. She loves uh, the smell of orange and citrus. So this will be a definite favorite, I'm sure. So though we missed out on the melting sugar mask in the door number two, we actually got one in door number uh, nine. 
and it's weird so if you can see I don't know if we can get a close-up of that inside ignore the the glue from the calendar inside but it's got like tiny little bits in it and it's it's clear like it's completely clear so neither of us have ever tried a melting sugar mask so um this will be an interesting one to see what she thinks of so I don't know what, what. Sweet Navy Skincare Routine with this treat inspired melting mask for luminous skin. This unique mask infused with real sugar and matcha extract um, features skin boosting skin boosters that melt on contact to clear pores for a fresh complexion. Interesting to see how she goes with that one. Let's head into door number 10. In door number 10 we have a hydrating glacier water and pink peony gel cream mask. So this will be another nice hydrating mask. So um Drench your skin in dewy hydration and protect from environmental pollutants with this lightweight leave-on gel facial mask. So that one will be lovely. It is in the scent of pink peonies. As I said, love peonies, so this should be a good one too. And door number 11 has another peel-off mask. She's going, yes, behind the camera silently whilst the dog licks my knee. Um, this is a renewing cucumber peel-off gel mask. Instantly refreshes and clarifies for rejuvenated skin. So easy to peel. I think, you know, like people that are my age will remember as children putting like clad glue on your skin and peeling it off. So I think that's where it comes from is that she likes to do that sort of thing and I'm sure she's done it herself. Um, but she, no, she's she's looking at me blankly and shaking her head behind the camera. So she's never done the peel off glue thing. This is why she likes peel off masks. We've learned something new today. Let's see what's in the final door. Final door is another sugar mask. So this is charcoal and black sugar mud mask. So this will be, I assume, a a clarifying mask that we've seen before. Um, this is to um, let it work its magic to moisturize, remineralize, and make skin sensationally soft. So activated charcoal helps lift away oils and toxins without over drying the skin. So um, this is a black sugar. We had the clear sugar before, and we wish that we had another sugar in the door number two which was end, end up being a duplicate but um, at least we got two to try so I'll be interested to see what she thinks of this one too. So overall I think this would be a pretty good um, advent calendar for someone who likes face masks and my daughter does. Um, their quality control obviously they should have made sure that the right things go into the right doors. I mean it was only one that was wrong but that was probably the one that we were most keenest to see because it was a rose gummy bear. So. It's a shame that one's not there. To get them out is really, really hard. I end up taking the card from inside and just taking them off that way. The glue is keeps them in place quite well, but um, at the same time makes it really hard to get them out. And if you don't have nails or brute strength, you're going to have troubles, but it will be a workout. But overall, I can't wait to see how, how this goes. And this is, um, I think, our third advent calendar that we've done um, for this year and I can't wait to do more so if you're watching this closer to Christmas I hope you're having a wonderful time and I will see you on the next episode before we go don't forget to press like subscribe and share